Well, the mayor of Dallas is at odds with most of the city council over taking a small amount of money from the police and putting it into other projects. Fox 4's Steve Noviello explored both sides, starting with city council member Chad West. The city of Dallas annual budget is up for a vote on Wednesday, more than $3 billion in spending. And you may be wondering why you're hearing so much about it. It certainly is getting a lot of attention this year. Councilman from District 1, Chad West, uh, joins me. You and the mayor fall on two very different sides of the coin here. We do. The, the narrative that has been presented on, you know, through hashtags and Twitter and social media is really about defunding the police. No one's defunding the police. And even after the $7 million overtime amendment, DPD is still getting $8 million more than it got last year in its $500 plus million dollar budget. Simply saying that we're taking away $7 million from the Dallas police budget is really not a complete thought without discussing some of the other programs that may result in no longer needing $7 million in overtime spending. Uh, part of what the budget amendment does is it reallocates resources based on the KPMG study that said DPD needs to do a better job of, of moving around certain assets. And one thing this amendment does is puts 42 more uniformed officers on patrol versus sitting at desk jobs and then puts civilians into that desk job. Are there still funds available if this overtime piece is taken out? The city always puts aside reserves, um, which can be used for unexpected situations. And there are reserves available if DPD does need more overtime. Uh, I feel better about putting in a cap right now so that they've got to come back and ask for it and show us that they put that system of checks and balances in there instead of just opening the checkbook for the next year. The flip side of that coin in terms of uh, saving money, the mayor says, you know what, we're actually going to take uh, a roughly 20% pay cut to some of the best paid employees at City Hall, and that's where we're going to come up with this money. What our concern was is that the proposed cut, which wasn't based on any kind of research or comparisons, would really impact the folks making around $60,000. And to be frank, if you reduce someone even below the 60,000 threshold, which this could have done, uh, it puts you into the affords affordable housing matrix, which we, the city, are responsible for trying to find public subsidies to get you into housing. You say if you cut a 20% 20, 20 from their salaries and they're close to retirement, they may just go ahead and walk out the door. If a, a big cut comes in to a lot of salaries, that cut could impact the last year or two of their service, meaning it could impact their pension for the rest of their lives. Is that in fact how the city's pension plan works, that it's based, the amount that you receive is based on the last salary that you were paid by the city? Varies by department, but generally, yes. In your own words, you tell us the staff uh, salary cut is a no-go. Uh, the mayor has brought it up twice. Council has uh, uh, voted against it twice. So why are we still talking about it? I am still hearing the rhetoric uh, through emails and communications from, from uh, the mayor's office, from social media about, you know, don't defund. And I really wanted to come out and come on here today, and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity uh, to clear that up and explain that there is not, not a single one of us is talking about defunding DPD. All right, the vote coming up on Wednesday. Chad West, City Councilman from District 1, we certainly appreciate your time.